the year, pretty much. It was the last, the last one of the whole year. The one that we practiced our entire year for. Just to go out with just the clothes on our backs. That trip was the first time I've ever truly felt connected with nature. In my logical mind, I can imagine, you know, animals constantly on survival mode, trying to find food, water, building their little nests, or sleeping and burrowing down for the night, but I never actually had that feeling in my body of what it's like to be on survival. To not have food, and not have water, not have shelter, and not have fire. But knowing that I had a set of skills to be able to somehow manage those things. And in that trip, I had this moment of actually feeling that sense of survival in my body, actually feeling the sense of belonging, like with the animals, feeling not like a person going on a walk through the woods, but actually feeling like I belonged there, like I was a kin with the tree. Not, not just a person that I knew, by name maybe, maybe I've seen their face once or twice, but actually truly knowing that person and knowing their heart and like having a year-long relationship. And that's how I felt with those creatures out there. And it's the only moment I've ever felt it in my entire life. And it's something that I constantly am yearning to go towards. My year this year with Twin Eagles has truly changed my life and has changed me. I feel a belief in myself that I've never quite felt like this before. And it's through it's through nature, it's through the constant inner tracking, it's through the challenges that I've faced over and over, it's through my mentors, and, um, and ultimately through me. I have dreams. I have big dreams, and I always have, and I dream of helping people heal and mentoring people through their journeys and their challenges that they face. And it's always been a scary thought, and it's always felt far away and unattainable and hard to face. And it has in the past, but up and up to this point, but now in my life. And as a result of this year in the immersion program at Twin Eagles, I honestly can say that. I know I can believe in my big dreams. Mentoring is so important because they push me to take a step out of my comfort zone. And every time I step out of my comfort zone, I grow a little bit. And I keep taking steps and steps out. And um, the beginning of the program, I was a really different per person. And one thing that really has changed and that I'm coming away with is at the beginning of the program I had a really difficult time uh, keeping my word and following through with commitments. And uh, yeah, having these mentors hold me to my word and, you know, ask me to show up and uh, mature and become a real true human being has been really, really powerful and important and that's the biggest gift coming out of this program is that, that my word is really important and without anything else on survival, without the clothes on your back, you really have your word and um, that I'm trustworthy and that I can follow through. Throughout the year going on these big challenges and adventures and facing ourselves and being held in the mirror and coming back and choosing, really that was the big thing this year, is not just we all face challenges in our life, but actually saying, I want to choose this for myself, and I want to see what I get, I want to see who I am, um, there's a big power in that, and coming back and telling your story to people who are, have lived a long time, our elders in this community that we have to share our story with, and then marrying right back, Again, Brian, this is what I see in you. This is where you have to grow. Um, and I love you. And hearing that, and it's just.
just a beautiful thing. That's life. You know, that's how it should be. And that's what I've lived for for my whole life. And I've found here. And it means the world to me. So, that's the beauty of journeying in nature and connecting with yourself and others. And in a very intentional way with others who really push you and care about you. All of the blessings I received How could they have been bestowed upon me? So I put it all back in the ground Back in the soil where I am found It all started